We don't want to cut off commerce. We don't want to cut off legitimate tourism. But to allow people to come in without even getting a visa from these 38 nations mm -hmm. could open us up to some challenges. What about the screening process? How concerned are you about a, a certain process in place that will make sure that, you know, look, we're not worried, as Marco Rubio said the other day, about the five-year-old or the 90-year-old yeah. uh, widow, but, but, but what, what can be done in, in mm -hmm. that regard? So two, two kinds <coughs> of screening I think it's really important for us to talk about. Refugees and then just people who come in on visas. So let's talk about both. On the refugee side, the screening process is really intense. That doesn't mean we can't make it better, but it's mm -hmm. really intense. So here's the, the numbers. Four million people have left Syria and registered as refugees with the UN. And then many are trying to come to other countries. Mm -hmm. um, the UN already knows which countries will take refugees under what circumstances, so they, they take about a year to kind of pre-clear somebody. They've recommended of the 4 million, 20,000 to come to the United States. Um, we have analyzed these 20,000 and we've allowed 2,000 in. There's some who are still in process. Mm -hmm. Um, the normal time that it takes to analyze one of these refugees before we give them a refugee status is 18 months. So it takes a year for the UN to recommend them, mm. and then 18 months for us to do the vetting. And there's special vets that have to be done of folks who come from Syria and Iraq already because sometimes our access to records there aren't so good, so it takes a very long time. Mm -hmm. So we can make it um, you know, stricter still a little bit, but it is already a very strict process. I'll tell you what worries me more and many of my colleagues more. Mm -hmm. We have a visa waiver program with 38 nations where if you visit from one of these 38 nations, you don't need to get a visa. You can just buy your ticket and carry your passport and come on in. These 38 nations include nations like France and Belgium and other nations where there have been terrorist attacks, where some of the Paris attackers are from those countries. Yeah. So I, I think, and the administration yesterday announced that they're going to take that visa waiver program and, and try to make it a little bit stricter. We don't want to cut off commerce. We don't want to cut off legitimate tourism. But to allow people to come in without even getting a visa from these 38 nations mm -hmm. could open us up to some challenges. So I think um, w we can analyze to see whether the refugee process can be stricter, but I think it's pretty darn strict. I think the visa waiver program, student visas, there's other kinds of visas that are more likely to be hmm. areas where we can find bipartisan uh, improvement.